Hi, my name is Abby and I'm in middle school at Astra K-8. I hope you're excited as I am to come back to school when it's time to do so. When we get back to school, some things will look and feel a little different. This video will help you understand some of the changes you will notice that are meant to keep us all safe. The first thing you will notice is that all of us must wear masks while at school. Hey, it's Mr. Harrelson! Great work with the mask! If you don't have a mask, then we'll get you one when you arrive at school. Oh wow, there's Mr. Robertson too! Whether you take the bus, walk to school, or if your parents drive you, it is important to try to maintain some distance between you and others. At some entrances, it may be markers to let you know where to stand. Before we go to school, we will receive a pump of hand sanitizer before entering the school. Make sure to rub your hands together so that the sanitizer gets in front of your hands and the back of your hands in between all of your fingers. We will be washing and sanitizing our hands a lot through the day. You can use the hand sanitizer at school if you don't have your own. Hey, it's Miss Chris! Sweet! I'm so excited to be back. Another adult or Miss Chris will ask you some questions and then you'll be on your way. Remember, if you have any symptoms of illness, don't come to school. Be sure to call though to let us know. You might have a specific entrance depending on your class, but we'll make sure to let you know what that is before you arrive. While entering the building, we will all need to head directly to our classrooms. Remember to be safe, respectful, and responsible. When you walk to your classroom, you will notice arrows on the floor. Just walk in the same direction of the arrows until you reach your classroom door. It's like when you ride in a car, always stay to the right. If you need to stop in the office, that will look a little different too. Miss Chris or Miss Deborah will invite you in when it's time. There are markings in the floor to remind you where to stand to keep social distancing. To ensure everyone is safe, there's plexiglass now installed in the office. Our classrooms will look a little bit different also. Our desks are spread farther apart to keep distance between you and other students. When you enter the room and exit, you'll hand sanitize. Also new this year, we will not be sharing materials like scissors or crayons in the classroom. You'll wipe the table down after you use it also. Your teacher is able to help you with any questions you might have, including where to put our coats and backpacks in the classroom. All rooms will have the windows open and they are cleaned after we use them. If you are ever thirsty in class, then you can take a drink. Be sure to bring a water bottle, or we'll provide one. To drink, you'll open your bottle, pull your mask down, drink, mask up, and then close your bottle. I mentioned we will be washing our hands a lot. Let's see Mr. Harrelson wash his hands now. Make sure you wash the front of your hands, the back of your hands, and in between all of your fingers. Wow! Great form, Mr. Harrelson! Be sure to wash your hands before and after using the restroom as well. When you need to use the bathroom, you will notice a few things in the restroom. There will be a limited number of students who can be in the restroom at one time, and you'll have a signed restroom. Your teacher will let you know this rule. You may have to wait outside until it's your turn. You'll see marks on the floor showing you where to wait. If somebody is walking down the hall, then be sure to walk around you. Recess will be a fun break in our day. We will need to keep our mask on and remember to stay six feet apart when we play with our friends. Even though our equipment will be sanitized on a regular basis, we will sanitize our hands before recess and again when we get back to our classroom. Our room will have its own playground equipment too. If you're ever feeling sick, tell your teacher right away. An adult who has been trained to review systems may ask you to rest in a new space called the symptom space. This room has been a place for you to wait an air filtration system. It will keep students safe and socially distant until your parents can pick you up. Parents will complete questions with an adult at school as well. At the end of the day, we will be released when it's your classroom's turn to exit the building through the door. Cheers. We will head straight to the bus, to your parents' car, or begin the safe walk home each day. As we get ready to head back to our classrooms, it is important to know that things may change again, and that's okay. If things change, no, it's just to keep us as safe as possible. Remember, we are awesome, we are Aster, and we are ready.